In Creole Parametric 9.0, the model tree received a number of enhancements to increase usability and speed. Let's take a look, but first I'm going to start off in Creole 8.0 just to refresh your memory about how the model tree operates in 8 and earlier versions. Here I have an assembly open. We can see our tree with all our different objects. Here we have an icon for the settings. If I go to the icon, here's where I can access the tree filters and the tree columns. Next to the settings icon, we have another icon. And from here, you can display additional trees. For example, here I can show the layer tree. And I have the layer tree open up as its own separate window. I want you to take a look at the top bar of the layer tree because you will notice some differences in Creo 9. But let me go to this drop down menu and turn off the display. There's another icon here for toggling the display of your columns on and off. Let me jump over to a part model to show some of the differences. Here's the icon. I have a couple of different columns displayed in the part model. With that button, you can toggle their display on or off. But once again, we have the drop down list for your tree filters. Let's take a look at the dialog box. And you'll notice that we have a number of different tabs over on the right hand side of the screen. So for example, if I click on simulate, well, simulate was on the top row, now it's on the bottom row. If I click on cabling, cabling's now on the bottom row, simulate is on the top. And we have a bunch of things that are controlled regardless of the mode of Creole parametric that you are in. Let me cancel out of here. And from this drop down list, in Creole 8, the design tree was introduced in part mode. Let me turn on its display. And the design tree gives you a sense of the different bodies and quilts and surfaces in your model independent of regeneration order and you can create different folders in here so for example i forget if i right click on something and so this is the design tree that you have now that we've taken a look at what's in creo 8 let's take a look at the enhancements to the model tree in creo 9. here i have the same model open in creo 9 and if you take a look at the top bar, you can see that we have a bunch more icons in here. And this is probably the biggest adjustment for me after 20 plus years of the model tree looking the same. Here from this icon, we can easily grab the model tree and turn it into a free floating window. And then we can just use this icon in order to reattach it to its default location. Let's take a look at the icons from left to right. So here we have the ability to expand all. That's available right in the toolbar. Here we can collapse all. And here is the button for show or hide columns. It's just in a slightly different place. Here's where we can choose items to display in the model tree. In other words, the tree filters. Hey, it's available from one click. And you'll notice that this dialog box is a lot different now we've got the categories over on the left hand side here are the general options then we have things like core features bodies and quilts and materials then we have cabling or other different modes here in Creo parametric also down here we have the select all and deselect all icons Let's cancel out of the tree filters. Next to the tree filters, we have the one for the tree column. So again, it's available from a single click. One thing that I want to point out is that I have a column here for the session ID. Being able to display the session ID as a column is a new enhancement in Creo 9. Let's cancel out of there. Let's see, where was I? Oh, right over here. From this one, here's where we can control the display of the mechanism tree, right with a single click, and then turn it off. Here's where I can get to my layer tree. And remember I asked you to take a look at the top bar in the layer tree. Hey, now we have a whole bunch of different icons for expand all, collapse all, and here's where we can apply the different visibility actions to the layers and some other additional icons over on the side. Let's now turn off the display of the layer tree. 
And here you have one for select related. This is a new function in Creo 9. I'll be showing this in another video. And then we have the drop down list for the other additional advanced settings that we want to get. And here we have some other choices for interactions that we want to control. So this top bar, much different in Creo 9.0. Let's take a look at part mode. I'll hop over to the same part that I had open before. So here we have by default our design items folder shown in the model tree. If we go over here, we can find the design tree icon. So I will click on that one and now we have our design tree listed. And again, we have additional icons in the design tree for different actions like expanding all, collapsing all. Here's the icon for creating a custom group. Again, I always had trouble finding it in Creo 8. And we have our tree filters, our tree columns. And then here is another new option, the quilt body evolution tree. There is another tree. I'll be doing a separate video on this one. Let me just click on it for a second. So here's the quilt body evolution tree and let me then turn off its display with this icon and expand the folder here oh yeah another difference that we have is that in creo 9 your consumed quilts and bodies are visible by default in your design items tree in creo 8 those objects were turned off by default and so there you have it, the design tree. If you don't want to see the design tree again, it's just a single button to get to it. Hey, here's where we can get to our layers. Here is the select related that I'll show in another icon. Here's where you can get to the quilt body evolution tree right from the main model tree. And one other thing to mention about your different settings that you apply, they're going to be remembered by mode. There's a lot more distinction between different modes in Creo Parametric. So for example, if you make something visible in part mode versus sheet metal versus NC, hey, there's gonna be a lot more tracking of what's displayed and customized in the tree based on the various modes. And one last thing to talk about in this video, well, You've always been able to select a feature, hold down the right mouse button, and choose insert here in order to grab the insert here bar and move it right after the feature. You will notice that there's another choice here, insert before. So instead of just having the ability to insert after the selected feature, well, now there's another choice to insert before as well. So there you have it, a bunch of enhancements to the model tree in Creo 9. I hope you like them.